do we have any Abdul what happened to this guy he is downloading Skype I mean he is calling me uh, maybe this guy hold on I missed his call sorry Look like his connection is bad, my friend. All right. <clears throat> Hello? 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 In this corner. Go ahead, we hear you. <coughs> okay, like so, it looks like we got a Muslim, but his uh, connection is really horrible. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Yes, how are you? I'm very well. How are you, my brother? I'm all right. So, you are a Muslim, my friend? Well, uh, it depends how you define Muslim. Uh, yes, well, I was born in a family of a Muslim, mm -hmm. and I'm still a Muslim, mm -hmm. and I believe Islam in Islam. All right, that's wonderful. What Islam means? Pardon me? What Islam means? Hello, speaker. Can you hear me? Do you hear me, my friend? I Hello, yes. brother. Yes, my friend. So you said you are a Muslim. What the Muslim mean? Uh, Muslim for me, Muslim is somebody who oh. believes and submit his will hmm. to Almighty God because. A Muslim is somebody who believes the will of God it should be done wow. in the heaven, the world as in the earth. Mm. Just like the way uh, Jesus placed uh, his will to Almighty God, say that I cannot do anything uh, uh, without my Father's will, because my whatever I do, mm. whatever I breathe or I step I take is from my Father's will. And whatever I say is from my Father's will. Mm. So I believe every Muslim should believe uh, uh, in 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 the will of of of, of God Almighty. Mm. So somehow we have a free choice that we think we have a free will. But to be honest, free will as a Muslim it defines us like a free will belongs only to Almighty God. We have choices. God Almighty give us something small of a free will to human being called choices. They can choose whether they want to be good or bad. Mm. So a Muslim is being given a choice. So but. When when he says my will is, is from with God, whatever I do, I do for God, for the, God's sake. Uh -huh. I eat for God's sake. I sleep for God's sake. I, I, I wake up for God's sake. I mm -hmm. pray for God's sake. I give charity for God's sake. Mm -hmm. Then you will submit your will to Almighty God. This is the submission to submission to God. Mm -hmm. And this is a Muslim. This is the definition of somebody who will follow this criteria of the submission of a Muslim. This is as far as I was taught, and this is the way I understood as all the prophets mm. from, from Adam, from Abraham, from Ishmael, Jacob, uh, and, 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 and uh, David, and Job, and Moses, and, and uh, Solomon, and uh, King David, and and and, uh, so, uh, and 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 with uh, Jesus, and Muhammad, and peace and blessing be upon and, and the pious people, the John, mm. and uh, you know, all those people who understood God. Say, for example, a Chinese person, a Buddhist man doesn't understand what the, the definition of his God is mm. different, different the way he was taught. And a mm. Christian definition of God, the way they've been taught is different. Mm. And a Jewish, the way they, you see, My friend, uh, you uh, give me a Jewish uh, is different the way they talk. So we, I personally I mean, think, I mean, look, uh, listen, listen, don't think, my, my, my scripture is telling on, me on, that hey, hey, uh, hey, Islam listen. is just like any other religion my was friend, revealed before hello. it. Hello. It's the same as the other religion. So it's, it's actually confirming Christianity, it's confirming <laughs> Buddhism, and it's confirming atheism, and it's confirming all other religion, paganism, 
And all this religion, when you put together in one together in, in category in one basket, mm. is called a double L in English is called all. Okay, if, can, if I, can I talk about because the now? word all in English is because even in the hey, Bible, hey, listen, you know, it says yeah, can I talk? in the beginning. Can I talk? Word. Can I talk? And the word. God. Are you listening? Are you listening? I give, I give you the, the minute, uh, 15 minutes, go on, you keep talking, 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 but you said no, nothing. It's not 15 minutes, it's about four, four, four minutes, actually. Okay, okay but you said nothing, you know, you uh, keep going, honest, suddenly we are talking about the Chinese and, now. You know, I know, you're trying to, we we try, talk, you try to we say 15 minutes, but to be honest, same same time. I can just, I know my time, because... We In me, I talk. write diaries, I write everything, my, my rights as well, listen, listen. So I, and I'm a researcher, so you I know many times I, I talk count and you said nothing. Well, after four, uh, it's not 15 minutes, to be after honest. After four minutes, okay, you said keep, nothing. After four minutes, Five you minutes. said nothing. I'll give you 10 minutes. And I will prove that everything you said to us is absolutely false. The verse in the front of us, chapter 49, verse number 14, it says that you have nothing to do with you believing in Islam and Allah. It's about you have no faith, Yet you surrender to Allah. That's what Islam means. It's not submission. Or it's not to accept the will of Allah. It's to surrender to Muhammad. And the verse in the front of you, I want you to read it. It says... Not to Muhammad. You see, I'm a Muslim. You're not a Muslim, my brother. Not, my I'm a Muslim. Let me, let me finish, it, for me, finish. I don't surrender to Prophet Muhammad. No it's a no sin. Problem, it's a big no problem, sin to wait, surrender. Let me, let You're me putting finish. words into my mouth. First of all, that's a lie. And I tell you, you, you that I surrender me. to Prophet Muhammad. I don't surrender. I surrender to the message that came from his mouth. Okay, okay, but I don't okay, surrender to him okay, because he said, Hello, do not make a mistake like Christian did made a mistake the way... Okay. You will not let me talk, aren't you? I mean, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Have patience. I will give you time. The verse in the front okay, of I'm us. Sorry, but my brother, verse, but I just don't put words into my listen, mouth. Listen, no, I'm not putting. I'm not putting. I'm not putting words in your mouth. You say that uh, Islam means <laughs> to submit to Allah. That is not a true. Yeah. The verse in the front yeah, of you. Hold on. Chapter, of chapter, God, chapter, hold on. Chapter, chapter four. Say, Shabbat Allah, Ilaha Allah, wa Shabbat Anna Muhammad Rasulullah. To say, I testify and I bear witness that there's no worthy to be worshipped except the Almighty God, the Jesus who worshipped to the Muhammad who worshipped to the. Abraham who worship to the Adam who worship to the sun and the moon and the whole galaxy, the one who's worshiping to. So this is where first it is of called, all, called Shahada. First of all, you are a liar, and this is not the Shahada. The Shahada is to say that there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is a prophet. Why you are adding Jesus and, and Moses and that's what I'm trying to no, no, you are not a You are a fabricated. You are a fabricated. Now listen, listen, listen. How you can witness to Allah? How you can witness to Allah? I testify. To be worshipped in this world, except Allah, 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 the Almighty God, the one who has no need for anybody. That's what it means. You need, you need, you are a liar. Otherwise, why are you associating the name of Allah? You are not calling you a liar. You are calling me a liar. You are 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 a liar. You and no. this is what I've, I've studied, and this is what I've what you is I do. I believe in Jesus Christ, but you don't believe in Prophet Muhammad. You believe in God Almighty. I believe in God Almighty. I believe in Prophet Muhammad. You don't believe in Prophet Muhammad. The only difference between you and me, yeah, personally, if God Almighty right now, if He's listening to us, saying that you do, be, do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ. Why? No, don't. Because I was taught to believe in Jesus no, Christ. Don't. Otherwise, I am not supposed to be a human being. Okay. You understand what I'm coming okay. from? Can because you, he agree? existed long Listen, time ago in the Abdul, history, Abdul. in the books, in the Bible, and everything. Abdul. And even Prophet Muhammad as well. Hey, 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 And somebody who taught something good in this world, yeah, something like for example, yeah, Moses taught something good as well, like an eye for an eye. You are a coward. You will not let me talk. You are afraid that I will talk. This is the whole point. You are like a sewage. We open the, the, the cover and the whole shit is coming out. What's wrong with you? How we can talk like this? Since you call me, until now, I said nothing. I say two words. You say 1,000 words. I will call you back and you need to agree. I will give you two minutes. You give me only one minute. Two minutes for you, one minute for me. What an idiot, because he's scared.
answer, answer now. Let us see how you can do it. Please. Hello? Listen, do you agree that I give you two minutes, you give me one minute? Is that okay for you? Yeah. Okay. Listen to you, but do, please, do you promise? Do you promise? Brother, do you promise like not to not to Allah. disturb my conversation? One minute for me, two minutes for you. Do you promise as a man? I promise as a man. Okay, I'm going to put the clock in the in the screen, you know, so everybody right. can see what we are talking about and we can see the clock. Are you seeing my YouTube? Okay, fair enough. Okay, now my friend, when I say something to you, I'm not putting words in your mouth. I will start my 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 uh, my minutes here. I will put it in the clock and in, in the clock. When one minute for me is over, I will stop talking. Right. You take the mic and you have then one minute from your side. Is that fair? Right. Well, fair enough. All right. Let me start here. Here we go. My my one minute is started already, and people they can see it in the screen. Now, right. you said that you as a person you worship the same God of the Messiah, the same God of Musa, the same God of uh, uh, etc. First of all, in your Quran, there's no no mention of the Messiah, the one we know. The one in the Quran, his name is Isa, and we do not know who is Isa. His grandfather, let, you promise, you promise not to dis disturb. Yes. Okay. Okay. And, sorry. and and the one in the Quran, his name is Isa. His grandfather, his name is Umran. We do not know such a person. His mother, his name is Mary, and she is the sister of Aaron. And Umran have the he is the father of Aaron too, according to Quran. So you are not speaking about the same person. Same time, you said that we believe that God, he gave us choices. That is a big fat lie. You're a prophet. He said it clearly that you believe in destiny and Allah, he wrote your faith 40 years before he created you. You said that we are Muslims who believe in God. But as you see the verse in the front of you, it says that you surrender to Allah, but you have no faith. Chapter 49, verse number 14. Now, can you please answer? The mic is yours. My brother, first of all, let me clarify Quran. You see the Quran that you're just reading and you're just trying to say, tell, telling me to clarify. This is a holy scripture. One word that you trying to translate the Quran, it has a lot of meaning in a different type, in a different language. I'm going to give you an example, for example. For example, Iqra, the first revelation that came, came to Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, it was a word called Iqra. It was not like Salaamu Alaikum or La ilaha illallah or Hello, how are you? Or slang. It was Iqra. In, 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 in Arabic term, terminology, in Arabic uh, at the time, Arabic was one of the greatest language in Arabia. It was, um, they, they used to compete with the poetic and the points and stuff like that. But with the word Iqra at the time, he was the first man speaking and saying in his word. Even Arab, the Arab at the time, they didn't know what the meaning Iqra was. Until today, no one can, can say that this word, I came with this word Iqra. So now they're trying to analyze the word, this Iqra, the, the poetic at, at that time. You know what it means in, in, in English? It means read. It means research. It means proclaim. It means do basically it one word. It has a, a, a variety of meaning. Just one word. Just this. That's why it's called a revelation. One word can have a lot of meaning. For example, Iqra means read, research, proclaim, repeat what I'm saying. Say like for example, when a child he was is told by a, a teacher say a a b b c c d d. It's called repeating. Like you know what I'm saying. So so this revelation, this one word, it has a lot of meaning. You understand. So whenever you understand the way, if you read, I read Quran more than 100 times. And every time I read Quran, I understand different. And every time I read again, I understand even better than I understand before. And when I read again I, from the beginning, and I, 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 it's like a vast knowledge, like an ocean. It's like I'm, I'm a fish, I'm swimming into it. So you cannot tell me I, can, I will understand the whole ocean from east to west, if that's what I'm trying to tell you. So Quran is a revelation, is a final and last testament of Holy Bible, you call it, but I call it Holy Furhan. 
because I accept the Holy Bible. So me, I'm like a last child of the family. If you don't accept me as a last child of the family, just like the way you have accepted the last child of Jesus Christ, I have accepted Jesus Christ was the last child, but I have accepted as a prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, as a comforter, my comforter, when Jesus Christ says, say in the Bible, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear it now. When he, the spirit of the truth, when he shall come, he shall guide you to the truth and he shall not speak for himself he shall only speak for what he hears from my father you understand so this okay, comforter is, they change the name if you my look friend, at this time, word comforter the only criteria that, that time, we as a muslim your time, believe in your Jesus time Christ, is up the people that made your us time to is comforter, up believe in your Christ. time is up okay sorry brother. okay listen you just said and now it's my time i will start the timer again here we go people they can see all right okay now you right. said that Muhammad is the spirit of a truth and that mean you Muslims are false Muslims because Muhammad is not a spirit He is a man. So why you lie? This is number one Number two, I showed I you. Okay, don't, okay. don't disturb you promise a man. You're a man. Keep your promise And you said hold on you said That you as a Muslim you believe in the Bible, which is a lie number three The verse I gave you in the front of you in the screen or what you said to me people they have different a translation or etc. I mean who don't care who care about the translation read whatever translation you want The verse in the front of me says that Allah says to the Arab You say we surrender to Allah, which means they say Shahada say you are a Muslim But you don't have faith. So according to Islam, you do not need to have faith You need just to say Shahada and because Muslims are kuffar they worship a God and associate his name with the man because of that the whole purpose is to believe in the man not to believe in the God This is why if you believe in Allah, but you don't believe in Muhammad you still you are kuffar Because Muhammad the whole point of using the name of Allah is to make himself equal to God Now I want you to give you the mic and please don't give me a speech answer the verse in the front of you in the screen how Allah he says don't say That we are believers say we are Muslims before faith never enter your heart how you can be a Muslim Yet Allah call you Muslim yet. There's no faith in your heart in Muhammad or in Allah the mic is yours First of all you say to me about the I told you about Ali about the comforter when Jesus Christ prophesies about prophet that the spirit the truth that will come and you see here, let me analyze about the spirit of the truth. You see, that every human being in their body in that makes them alive is they have a spirit. Every human being, first of all, they have a spirit. You can have a bad spirit, good spirit, or right spirit, a disability spirit, uh, whatever kind of spirit you can have. But you see, when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his soul, his spirit, the, the ruh, I'm talking about the soul, the spirit, yeah? The, when Prophet Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him, says, when he, the comforter, he shall come, he shall speak. You see the word he, he, he is an English language. It's not, it's not I'm not saying it is, oh, I'm saying he. So the word he is a man and a spirit, the word, a man has a spirit. Every human being has a spirit. When the spirit comes out from your body, you are a dead person. So what I'm trying to tell you that Prophet Muhammad, we believe he was the comforter that Prophet Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him, that prophesied about it, that he said, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot understand it now because your mind is so narrow. But when he, the spirit of the, and I, he, the spirit of the truth, when he shall come, he shall guide you to the truth. He shall not speak for himself. He shall only speak for what he hears from my father. And he shall glorify me. You understand where I'm coming from? So when he speaks about he, he is a prophet Muhammad. We as a Muslim, we believe. Uh, and, and, and everybody believe that 1.8 billion Muslim right now is not a magic followers. You so can't find Instagram 1.8 billion followers. Your two, your two minutes uh, is up. My, my time is up? Yes, your two minutes is up. Listen, okay, you just okay. said and everybody heard you that he will glorify me. That's mean you just admitted that Jesus is God and Muhammad is worshiping Jesus because nobody mm -hmm. should have don't, 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 don't disturb, don't disturb, don't disturb. You, you promise as a man, you promise as a man, you promise as a man, don't break your promise, father's will. don't, don't, so you don't break call your call promise, call potato, father's call you are not Abba. a man it's to it's keep your promise, stop, 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 stop talking, keep your promise.
Keep your promise. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When I'm you sorry. say, I just want to share you. you now you cannot show me. You finished and, 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 and let me talk. Please stop. We have you are taking now from my time. You are you have a mental illness or what? You promised me as a man. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Now no. listen. You said that Muhammad is going to that. glorify him. He will glorify Jesus. How you glorify Jesus unless he is God? Man should not glorify a man. Should glorify God only. You just admitted that Jesus is God and Muhammad worshiping Jesus. This is number one. Number two, let me, let me, don't disturb. Okay. This is my time. And number two, okay. why you are avoiding to answer about this verse in the front of you, which it says that you can be a Muslim, but yet you have no faith, neither in Allah, neither in Muhammad. What kind of cult this cult is? The God of this cult says to you, you call yourself a Muslim. I call you Muslims. Don't say that we are a believer. Say we are Muslims. This is what the verse is saying. You claim that you read the Quran. You claim that you read the Quran. I, I challenge you to read the verse for me in Arabic and tell me what it says. It says that you say that we are Muslims. See, you are a Muslim, but faith never enter your heart. Now explain to me how in the world a God, he accepts you to be a Muslim. But yet faith never enter your heart and the mic is yours. First of all, you need to understand my brother, man, man, what is faith? What is faith to you? According to you is different. According to Chinese is different. According to everybody is different. You understand? Man, man, the way we Muslim believe, what is faith? Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi wa liyawmil akhiri wa qayri qadrihi wa sharrihi min Allahi ta'ala. The faith, the real faith of a Muslim is to believe that there is nobody to be worshipped except Allah Azza wa Jalla, the one who sees everything that we can't see him, but he surely sees us. This is the, the greatest faith, the greatest Iman, a supernatural Iman. We believe in Allah, A double L, the creation of A double L, the creation of all, including Jesus, including everybody from the beginning to the end. So, what I'm trying to tell you, my brother, A, uh, in the beginning and in the present and the past, if you put together in one basket, it's becoming A double L in English, where it is all. Even in the future will become all if you put together. So the word all, and if, if you if you add a h, which is uh, the word ah, the word ah is uh, is is a definition of every child when is born, their mother they have to scream the word ah as if they're trying to praise some some echo of a vibration of ah ah like you know when the pain comes or when the where, where it's, it's like a it's, it's like a supreme being they could they call it even any chinese any kind of language they have to say ah ah if consciousness so the word a double l which is all of us all of us together we put together and you <laughs> add the word ah everybody a child when he's born he say ah ah so when you put together you it becomes allah you understand where I'm coming from. So what I'm trying to tell you, uh, 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 Jesus Christ okay, worshiped is up. Allah. He says, Allah, 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 you are mentally ill. Ah, ah, it sounds like a sex movie. You idiot, I say to you, how Allah, he says, you say we surrender to Allah. We became Muslim. The word surrender here in Arabic is we are Muslims, but yet there's no faith into your heart. How you can call somebody a Muslim, but you have no faith in his heart, neither in Allah or Muhammad. And what you give me a speech about, about ah, ah, and what is the definition of belief? Suddenly, def de belief need definition. Believe is to believe. But because you are a coward, you are a gun machine, you have nothing to say, you start saying things have nothing to do. W L W L L L L. What is that? What does this even have to do with my topic? I will call you back. You are not being a man. You are not keeping your promise. You promise that when your time is up, you will give me the mic. Shame on you. I'm going to have fun. <laughs>
like a recording machine you know he do not know what he's talking about and what he's talking about have nothing to do with our topic you're just trying to cover up the stupidity in the Quran how the Quran says that you are you have you have no faith and Allah called them Muslims he's saying to them don't say don't say we believe say we are Muslims how you can be how does God he say don't say you are you are you have a belief say we are Muslim I know what happened to him <laughs> and Muhammad is the comforter who will glorify Jesus and he is a spirit who will live with us forever they are I told you that Muslim they think Muhammad is God because the Bible is speak about the spirit who will stay with us forever Muhammad is dead in the grave you idiot and Muhammad is not a spirit <clears throat> he's a human being when you say to me every human being have a spirit that will not make you a spirit you idiot having a spirit does not make you spirit the spirit is your soul according to Islam and you having a soul does not make you a soul you are a certified idiot but because they are desperate to find their false prophet in our book And by the way, why Muhammad did not say the Bible mentioned my name to be a spirit in the Bible? Why the Muslim they discover that, but Muhammad the idiot he could not find it. Hmm? Why Muhammad did not say to them, Muhammad is in the Song of Songs? Ahmad Didat was making fun of the Song of Songs, claiming that this is a porn book for more than 20 years. There's tons of videos of Ahmad Didat making fun of the Song of Songs, saying, "Do you do you read the Song of Songs for your children?" Suddenly, somebody told him that in the in, in the Song of Songs in the Hebrew it says Muhammadim, and then suddenly Muhammadim uh, Song of Songs became a holy song. He's not answering. But you see, because they are coward, they will not stop talking. He's afraid and he will not answer this verse you notice I show him this verse how you can be how Allah he says to you be a Muslim say we are Muslims for you don't have faith and you don't believe how you can be a Muslim then because he forced him into Islam I don't know what happened to him it says he is uh, calling me but I cannot, you know, I cannot receive any call from him. Hold on, maybe because I am in disturbed mood. Let us see. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm trying to call him too. See. <laughs> All right. Who is next? And you know, in the top of that, you have to accept that the one who sent the Spirit is the Father of Jesus, the Christ, and Jesus too. But you Muslim don't believe in the Father and don't believe in the Son. Do you accept that Jesus is the one who sent your prophet? Do you? <laughs> certified ignorance idiots desperately looking for a place for their prophet but they cannot find him they cannot even find their prophet to be a prophet in their books so how he will be a prophet in my book who is a Muslim when a call 
you notice by the way the reason they speak fast and they don't stop because they are in a panic mood he know he's speaking to Christian Prince if I let this guy talk only Allah knows what will happen so I better not to let him talk and the little double L a lie when you say ah ah what is that ah ah is Allah <laughs> this is the best comedy show ever who would I watch cable TV anymore <laughs> ah ah it sounds like a playboy. So when somebody say ah ah, he said Allah Allah. That is something. Call me, call me ah ah, call me back. The caller mic is so loud. What I will do then? <laughs> Hello. Hey, Abdul. You see, you are breaking your promises. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. No, my, my friend, phone. you cannot do that. You are a man. You know, you are a man. Know. You are presenting Islam now. The people they will be wondering why this Muslim keep his promise. Keep you know breaking his promise. Come on, man. Don't. It's not a promise. Come on. Okay. Let's now come it's down, my man. time. Let me talk, please, and please respect your promise. When I say to you, it's your time. Don't make me shout. I'm losing my voice. This is not nice. Okay. Now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This I is apologize. my time now. Let me start. Let me start the clock. Okay. Here we go. The clock started my time my friend the verse in the front of us says that the Arab they says we believe Allah said to them say you do not believe rather say we are Muslims how in the world we have a religion it says you can say you are a Muslim but you should not say you you believe for faith never enter your heart and you gave me a speech about definition of belief believe is to believe either you believe or you don't believe so when you say I say Shahada, that's mean you are telling me what you believe in. Those people they say Shahada, and they are now Muslims. And Allah He saying to them, say you are Muslim, but don't say we believe for faith never enter your heart. Which means Islam is a religion of hypocrisy. It teach you to be a hypocrite and to stay hypocrite. All what Allah He want from you, which is Muhammad in this case, He want you just to say, I am a Muslim. You believe you don't? Who care? And as you see the verse in the front of you, and now I'm going to stop my clock so you can start yourself. Okay, and okay. the mic, all, we, we need to understand, brother. Okay, the mic is yours now. The mic uh, is yours, uh, oh, my friend. Brother, the, the, mic, verse, the verse was revealed in Mecca, and it was a long time ago that was revealed at the time of, uh, of uh, 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 the time of Jahiliya, the time of uh, the ignorant, the time of the Arabs at that time. Arab, they, they were pagan, they had no religion at that time whatsoever. They used to rob and all that. Prophet Muhammad was a mercy, was sent as a messenger to them, to the community, to stop uh, what what they were doing. So when Prophet Muhammad was weak at the time, nobody was listening to him. And everybody used to stone him and to beat him. Everybody used to call him mental, crazy, uh, you know. Until until uh, when uh, Allah Azza wa Jalla gave him power, uh, slowly slowly he rise up. And then when the vice the verse was revealed, those hypocrite of Muslims, they want they they they, they, they the Arabs. They they thought hold on a minute if they we can't beat them we should join them so they say we are believers we believe in you and then they, they were told you cannot become a believer you have to become a Muslim first to submit yourselves like your wills you understand so Islam a Muslim to be a Muslim is is, is like a one step. And then once you become a Muslim, and then you become a mu'min. And then when you become a mu'min, the more you practice, you become a muhsin. And then the more you practice muhsin, you become a muttaqin. And then the more you become a muttaqin, you become mursaleen. It's like a stage. It's like a stairs. You know, it's like a stairs. So Islam is a foundation. It's like, you know, the house, when you build a house. Islam, Muslim, to be a Muslim, is like a foundation. Everybody is born as a Muslim, as a child. Mm -hmm. No matter where you are from, whether... Whether Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whether you're Christian or you're, you're, you're pagan, whether whatever you are, before you the age of puberty, you are fitra, meaning you are a Muslim. You are you you, ha you don't have no because you have no understanding of your own. You are learning from him or whom him and all that. You understand where I'm coming from. So what I'm trying to tell you now, that verse is trying to refer the jahiliya of those people, the hypocrite people, and you can't apply it to right right now, sir. So, I'm not. I'm, I'm not an Arab. I'm an African. I'm from Bilal ibn Rabah. I'm from Ethiopia. 
So I, I, I'm a Muslim, you understand? So even though I am, I'm not an Arab, but I'm a Muslim, I believe in Islam. I, and at the same time, I believe in, in Jesus Christ because Islam is forcing me to believe in, in, in Isa, alayhi salatu was salam, peace okay, and blessing. Your time is up, my friend. Your time is up. Okay. So, now, fair enough. All right. My friend, you said, and everybody heard you, that you convert yes. to Islam first and then you believe. That's mean Allah yeah. is a hypocrite, not the, the not the one who convert. You said those Arabs they say to themselves, like that, that, "You promise not to disturb. You promise, keep your promise." Okay, okay. Enough. now you said that those Arabs they converted to Islam because they said to themselves, "We cannot beat Muhammad, so we better convert to Islam. Otherwise, he will, you know, will kill us." So they converted, and this is what you are caring for. That's all what you need is just have somebody to say, I convert. And later you become a Muslim, doesn't matter. Okay, now you convert, you say I'm Muslim, but you, don't, you believe you will come later. And this is the mm -hmm. point. Islam is a religion of filthy killing and threatening people and forcing them into Islam. And you are the one who said that, everybody, by, by witness. You, we force them into Islam. At the first step, just say we are Muslim. Then the faith will come later. Have you ever heard of a cult like this? You convert to a religion, but we don't have faith. Number two, you said, that you know, uh, uh, I I am a black. <laughs> Muhammad he hate the black people. How you can be a black person? Muhammad he owned many black slaves. As an example, he called Bilal a raising head. How in the world you make fun of a human being? He is a black. You're a prophet. He said the most person Allah he hate is a black person. How you can believe in such a thing? Why Allah he hate a person who is a black? Why the most enemy for Allah is a black person? Shaitan is a black. The one who destroyed the Kaaba is a black. The most person Allah he hate is a black. And Allah created the black people to go to hell. The mic is yours. First of all, my brother, I don't even know your name, but I love talking to you and I would love to make you understand exactly. Um, uh, Christian Prince, I start thinking your name is Christian Prince. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank you so much to ask you this beautiful question. Hmm. Let's come uh, to the Bilal ibn Rabah. Hmm. First of all, every Muslim, uh, we have a lot about how many thousands and thousands of mosques around the world. And we pray five times a day all over the world in mosques. Okay. And every prayer that you pray, no without adhan, meaning Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Hmm. It no, he was not the founder of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this hmm. beautiful voice, the, the adhan. Even Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, pointed a finger to Bilal ibn Rabah saying this beautiful calling, it is honored by Allah Azza wa Jalla to be given this slave of, of uh, this slave and servant of Allah Azza wa Jalla. So Bilal was not a slave and a servant of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. So Bilal was actually a best friend, a companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him. I'm a Muslim. First of all, I don't hate my religion. Neither do I hate Christianity. Neither do I hate Judaism. For me, basically, I believe in Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. You understand? You guys believe whatever you want to believe. You want to believe it for the Holy, the Father, the Son, whatever. I, I was not taught because of the, the that type of a division. I was told Allah is one, the merciful and the just. Mm -hmm. So to come to Bilal ibn Rabah, we're speaking, Bilal has, he has the most honor. He's, he, he might be dead right now, but his voice is echo five times a day. Before you wake up, all over the world, people are making this adhan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, as if Bilal's voice is still echoing like a, more than as any other sound in the world. And no prayer in Islamic prayer is allowed without Bilal's call, meaning a black man call. Okay, my friend, you your understand? time is so up. So Islam itself, it belongs to a black your man. because the, the, the Islam your time, you go your time is up. Your time is up. I'm sorry. Okay. My friend, Continuous. everything you said to us is false because Bilal was a slave, not a friend. And here we go, the hadith in the front of you, and this is Sahih hadith, that your prophet, he ordered Bilal to do the adhan because he is the only slave between those white men. And Bilal was bought by Abu Bakr. And Bilal, he big Abu Bakr says, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, Will you free me for the sake of Allah? If you bought me for yourself, then keep me for yourself. And Muhammad, he died and Bilal is still a slave. Have you ever heard of somebody? He is a friend of somebody, yet he owned him as a slave. I want to friend you, my friend, but I want to own you. What kind of a friendship is that? Why you are lying? So here we see that Bilal is nothing but a poor slave who worked for Muhammad 
to do everything for him because he is the only slave he is going to wake up early morning go to the roof and start screaming losing his voice but the white Arab man he will never do that why Muhammad did not order Abu Bakr why Muhammad did not do the Adhan because all of them they want to sleep and they want to rest but the poor Bilal who is a slave he is the one who will do the job now you did not answer me why your prophet believe that every person is a black is an enemy for Allah did your prophet kill the black dogs why the black dogs are the enemy of Allah the mic is yours first of all my brother you are a liar you are a hypocrite you are you are you you, you told me basically I am a black man prophet told me I'm a slave and are we all slave prophet free us at the time of a slavery Bilal was a slave he was bought and he was freed if you didn't understand the hadith, if you didn't learn the hadith, don't tell people a lies. I beg you, please don't call me a liar. I'd never called you a liar. But now you're forcing me to call you a liar because you're telling me things that you, you didn't even study properly, my brother. You see, uh, there's, a table has four angles. A Kaaba has four angles. People, you see, one angle is from the other side, one angle of this side, and other angle of this side, and other this angle of this side. Perhaps, maybe you are just talking of that one, that angle. Are you done? Well, here we go. Your prophet, he said, your, your Bilal said to, to Abu Bakr, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, will you free me for the sake of Allah? So who's lying? I want you in the front that of everybody. I don't, you are, don't, you, you cannot know. prove Hold me on, my time, my time, you my time, my time, my time, my time, my time. I want you to show me. I want you to show me a Sahih Hadith. I want you. Hold on. You, you are breaking your promise. You broke your promise. You broke your promise. You broke your promise. You are a coward. 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 Allah is one. It's my time. I don't care if you God. Allah is one or ten. Listen. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. Listen. The Hadith in front of you. Show me the hadith where it says Muhammad he free Bilal and I will make you my hero. It's a challenge in the front of every Muslim in the world. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Okay. I want you in the front of everybody to show me the hadith where it says that the prophet of Islam Muhammad he freed Bilal. I have a, a, a hadith in the front of me which is Sahih from Sahih al-Bukhari. Bilal begging for his freedom which means they are not freeing him. Now I want you to show me the hadith that Muhammad he freed Bilal. It's a challenge. The mic is yours. Muhammad bought Bilal and freed him. Show us. Go on to research. Show us. No, don't research. You are the Muslim who told me. How can I you show are the you one who told me. You, 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 you don't even face to face. You, like you are a liar, you, my brother. You see, you you are putting words, your own your own understanding into people's head. It's not like that. You have don't to give please. me the proof. We have 1.8 billion followers. I don't care about the 1.8, but you, you, you have more proof of what you say. This is not the one question. Of, both of them, one of them is from Africa, one of them from Asia. Abdul, you know Abdul, that the DNA, Abdul, the DNA. Abdul, if you're a prophet. Basically, Bilal was from Ethiopia, and, uh, and 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 the whole Islamic concept is is a salah, is a prayer five times a day, daily prayer. The whole Islamic concept. Just get lost. When you debate a Christian prince, either you prove what you say or get lost. In the front of me, the poor Bilal is a slave. If you're if you're a prophet, is a good man, he will not even have him as a slave, as you said, because you lie to us. You say Bilal was a friend of the prophet. How he is a friend of the prophet. And yet Bilal he died as a slave and even if you say to me he freed him later show me as you claim Show me the Sahih Hadith. I'm showing you Sahih Bukhari There's no way that Bilal was freed and such a th story will not be mentioned Your prophet is mentioned how to clean his ass in the Hadith He used the three rocks do Bilal worth to speak about his free Or it was freeing him the ass of your prophet have a thousand hadith. Why we cannot find the hadith about Bilal being freed by your prophet? So you are a hypocrite and you say to me, search it, search it. <laughs> search it. <laughs> the one is trying to call me. Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim?
You see how they right away they, they escape the disaster. Do you see it? Now, when you say to me that Muhammad, he is a friend to Bilal, but yet Muhammad, as you claim, he said that the most man Allah he hate is a black man. You need to explain to us. When Muhammad even he killed animals just because they are black, you need to explain to us. When Muhammad he says that the white, di white dog is fine, the yellow dog is fine, but the black dog need to be killed. When Muhammad he says, kill every pure black animal. You need to explain to us. Speaking about Muhammad, that he was nice to the black, but yet he was owning tons of slaves, even having sex with them. They asked the Prophet of Allah, what's, what's wrong with the black dog? He said the black dog is the devil. So they keep talking, 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 but they have no proof and they have no reference of anything they are speaking of. Muhammad, he made slavery a business, a lifestyle. The caliphate of the Muslims, they own tens of thousands of slaves. Muhammad himself, he received a chapter, it's called the chapter of At-Tahrim, because once he forbid himself from raping a slave he owned. So Allah supposedly sent him a verse says, why you are forbidding what Allah made law for for you? What Allah made law for for you? To do boom, boom to your slaves. And you notice that this guy who tried to defend Islam, he just approved what we always say. And I hope people will copy his video and share it around. That in Islam, you do not need, yes, you do not need to believe. First, you convert to Islam, and then you became a believer later. <laughs> and he said, those Arabs, they said to themselves, well, we cannot beat Muhammad. Which means he will kill us. Actually, the story is more than this. Muhammad, he sent them a threat. He says, either you convert to Islam or I will kill you. Either you convert to Islam or I will kill you. And then those people, they said to themselves, well, he will kill us. And this can be found in chapter 48, verse number 16. Say to the Arab, say to them, those who live behind, they don't want to join Muhammad. You will be called against folk of mighty war to kill you until they surrender. Do you see it? Until what? You surrender. That is Islam. And this is what it says in Arabic. In Arabic, it doesn't say, by the way, like the word here, surrender, is exactly the word Yuslimun. So the real word of Islam is not submission. We hear many people, they keep saying submission. I heard that from even Sam Shamoon, from David Wood, from James White, from everybody. But the fact it does not say that, it is surrender. Yes, Abdul, did you find me the reference that your prophet, he frees Bilal? No, but now I can see on the screen everything. Now I can see on the screen what you're talking about. Now I can see a pro. Uh, on the I can see on the screen. Basically, did you find me the, the did my find me the reference that Bilal was afraid by the prophet? Hello. Hello. You on about? Hello. Are you there? Well. Hello, can you hear me? Did you just find me the Sahih Hadith where your prophet he freed Bilal, my friend? Did you find me the Sahih Hadith where it says that your prophet he freed Bilal? There's a Hadith going YouTube and check it out, yeah? Um, no, no, not in YouTube. Um, Give me a Hadith. Don't tell me in YouTube. What YouTube? Give me the Hadith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a reference, yeah. Hmm. 
Bilal was ref was freed, was told like when he was bought, was freed, was telling to okay, go. I, I want to see that. Uh, so, can you show me the hadith? Can you give me the hadith number? Listen, 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 come on. How many hadiths do you know I existed out there? How many hadiths? I'm asking a question. How many hadiths do you know all of together that exist? Doesn't matter. I want a hadith from you. I'm asking a question, from I'm asking a question brother. Don't, don't, do you don't know change existed? the topic. I want you from, I want you to exactly. give me I want you to give me a reference of Bilal being freed. What about Mary the Copt? She was a free too. What about her cousin was afraid too? What about all the slaves Muhammad? They were afraid too. Muhammad, he owned slaves and he raped them. Now I'm asking you, as a black you're person, uh, you said to me, as, if you were as long as you don't want to answer, I am as, as I'm you asking you. I'm asking you. You, you see, you, 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 you lie to people. Please stop doing this. You have to prove it. You have to prove it. I'm lying. See, where, I'm, no. where I am lying? Wait. Where I am lying? And show me. Where, no, 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 no. Show me where I did lie. Go ahead. You say Muhammad raped a slave, his slave. Yes. If your eyes was there, was there, was seeing like. Yes, do you want me to show you? 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 You want me to show you proof? I want me. Okay, here we go. The proof in the front of your eyes. The proof in the front of your eyes. Here we go. Do you see it? This is your prophet. This is your prophet. This is your prophet attacking tribes and raping the women. Don't speak about prophet. You can't say prophet Muhammad rape his women. Why you there? You have to answer. I am showing you reference. I am showing you reference. Here we go. Hold on. I am showing you in the screen reference. Your prophet. He killed the men. He took the women and he took jewelry and he raped Show me sex reference that you will show. Show me sex reference that you saw. Did you saw that sex reference? I can make it. Yes, a, it says, a, this, a, is, this is Sahil Bukhari. This is, I am not making, this is Sahil Bukhari. This is your book. Bukhari, let me tell you about Sahil. Just like the way John was... was <laughs> to, uh, to, so was Sahil Bukhari now is bullshit, right? So Sahil Bukhari now, Sahil Bukhari is bullshit for you. Sahil Bukhari, so Sahil Bukhari is a bullshit. The Quran speaks about, the Quran speaks about Sahil Bukhari. Tell me about something in the Quran. Don't tell me about something. So if about, I show you from the Quran, uh, what you will do? It's a reference. Okay, here we go. Okay, hold on. We will go to the Quran. Like, Guys, Sahil Bukhari is a liar. Sahil Bukhari is a liar. What about the Quran? What do you mean? Uh, Sahil Bukhari could be... How can it be a liar? It's something that... For me, a lie is something that does not exist. For me, something that exists, I can see okay, with my own eyes. Abdul, 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 Abdul. How many times, how many, how many times the Quran says you can have sex with your right hand possess? Who are they the right hand possess? What do you mean? The one you go, you went, you pay mahar, the one you married to, the one you made, the one you say, you're going to have my children in my air. Who, right 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 who is the right hand possess? Stop lying. Who is the right hand possess? Is the, the right, is the feed, right hand the possess are they the slaves? That one, you're going to have sex with them and then produce your children and propagate. You understand? Abdul, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Here we go. I'm asking you. Who is the right hand possess? Are they the slaves? Uh, well, if a slave was married to the owner, then of course. Okay, hold on. Guys, if the slave is married to the owner, here the verse in the front of us it says, O Prophet of Allah, we made lawful for you your wives and your right hand possess. So they are not wives. All right. If of course, of course. Listen, hold on a minute. Let, let, let me let me stop you here. Yeah. Mm, stop Something me here. Yeah. You write for your own. Uh, say for example. Say for example. Hold on. Mm. Abraham, peace and blessing be upon him. Mm. When hi, uh, when Sarah had a, when he couldn't have a child, and mm. then uh, Hajara was was helping her, and then say have this uh, like a like a slave. Mm. She was gonna have Eshma. And then it had an ish mine. Mm. You see, this is with a slave. No, and then and then took to make Becca, whatever you call it, Mecca right now. Mm. You see where I'm coming from. Yeah, so no, this no, is no, the, I don't see where I'm coming from. Ish, no, no, I don't see where I'm coming from. Abraham, he did not do what Allah told him according to your Quran, did he? In my Bible, we don't have Allah, we don't believe in Allah. There's nowhere in my Bible, hold on, shut up. There's nowhere in the Bible that God said to Abraham, Go and have sex with a slave. It was Abraham doing that, and this is why. 
God, Abraham, he was right? upset from, uh, from, from from Abraham. Yeah. So Abraham, he Perfect. disobeyed God Perfect. by having by Perfect. having sexual relationship with a slave, Christ, actually, and he Take married her. Listen, 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 now, no, listen, Christ. answer me. Because why you lie? Why you lie? And you say, why you lie? Why? Hey, 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 potato, potato. Why you lie? You said in Islam, we don't have sex with the slaves. Now you agreed. Why you lie to me? Just two minutes ago, you denied that your prophet was having sex with the slaves. And now you say, okay, I'm going to give you the example of Abraham. Everybody's a slave in Islam. We believe everybody's a slave to Allah. No, this is not a question. This is not a question. Stop lying. This is not a question. I'm talking about the slaves who they are called. Your right hand possess. Are you the right hand possess of Muhammad? Hold on. Shut up. The liar, liar, liar. Are you, are you a right hand possess of Muhammad? So he can rape you. Say yes. Are you? How can I say yes? Why are you forcing me to well, you say are yes? saying to me? Why you because you are saying to me, all of us were slaves. Yes. You are saying to me, all of us were slaves. Shut up. Don't call me again. Don't call me again. You are a coward. You are a coward. There's no point of talking to you. I say to you, what is the right hand process? You say to me, this is not about slaves. Show me why you are lying. I show you Sahih Bukhari. You say to me, why you are lying. I showed you Sahih Bukhari. You said, who is Sahih Bukhari? There's millions of hadith. I show you Quran, and you don't want to answer. It says here, Allah made lawful for you, your wives and your right hand possess. So why you lie? You say Muhammad was not raping his slaves. And how you say to me that Muhammad, he freed the slaves. How he have them, but he's freed them. <laughs> Guys, the Quran said to him, it is lawful for you, your wives and your right hand possess. How he freed them, but he have them. And they are called right hand possess. Do you see how how silly they are? And he will not answer me why his God. Even is is uh, 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 is speaking about the black people as evil. You do you notice he tried to ignore it. We ask him why the black dog is a devil. He will not answer because it's a shameful belief. Muhammad, he have a phobia with the black color. How Muhammad he free people, but he owned them. And Allah, and obviously here the verse in the front of us, by the way, obviously Muhammad himself will fabricate this verse. Even it says any Muslim woman she can give her vagina to the Prophet. So he can if her, not to marry her. As you see, it says it is lawful for you, your wife, and then your wives, and then in the top of that he starts counting. And one of his counting is right hand possess. And then any believing women, she gave herself to the prophet. How are you talking machine? Sorry, brother. I told my cousin, my uncle to cooperate with the with him. So he's gonna try to cooperate now, yeah? Okay. Hello. Yes. So as you see, the verse in the front of us says that Muhammad he own right hand possess. Why brother, he own brother, you swear down. I have a blood pressure sometimes, but brother, but you 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 accusing you you abusing my prophet peace and blessing be upon him. I don't him care. He's he not my abusing. prophet. For I me, get, he's a I criminal. Get, you know. I don't care. Not, not my, this is not my. We don't this is not our topic. Prophets, my Abdul, brother. This is not all the same. They all bring the same message. No, we don't like believe in the same. Your God, your God, your God, he will make, make your penis endless. We don't believe in such a God. You're, what kind of God? What kind of God? He sent a dish of shish kebab to his prophet to make his penis strong. Can you answer me? What are you on about? I don't even understand what you say. You're a prophet. He says I was the most weak person between mankind in sex, and I invoke Allah, and He sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it. I get the power of forty men. Now you tell me what kind of a prophet he is, and what kind of God we are talking about. What book are you you reading, or what newspaper? Do you want me to show you the reference? No, I never had okay, this. Did, did, did you say? Did you say newspaper? You're telling me okay, things okay, I never okay, heard okay, before. Okay, you're okay. putting things that I never hear before. I read Quran. I read Hadith. Sometimes you even misquote Hadith. You're telling me to add. You you you, 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 you you put upside down the Hadith. Come on, my brother. Please, All right, man. don't cry. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Don't stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Don't like Stop talking. Here we go. This is the hadith in the front of you. Which one you want me to read for you? It says it clearly you that dog. you say that. You know, listen, my brother, you say about black dog. First of all, listen to me. Yeah, I want you to understand the color black. Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, had three favorite color: mm. white, green, and black. 
Really? The reason so why, why he forbid you from coloring black? black only on Friday, so why he forbid okay? you? Why he forbid you? Listen to this. Mm. Listen to this. Listen, mm. listen. You don't know nothing about Prophet, our Prophet peace and blessing. He saw everything in spiritual. The religion of his he was brought Islam was a, was a, was a religion of a spiritual religion. Okay, let's go back to the topic. Religion. You are going out of the topic. Together. You are trying like to avoid said, the Prophet question I gave you. You are trying to avoid the question I gave you. What kind of a what prophet he says? What kind of a prophet he says, I was one of the most weak people in six and I invoke my God Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it. I get the power of 40 men or 30 men. I swear to God, I never had that book. I, I don't, don't care. Here we go. The hate in front of you. And, he, is and this is the name of the book. Hold on. So I don't know Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. The book of Hold on. Hold on. I don't care. I don't care. Hey, hey, hey. I never had that before. Hey, I don't care if you heard it before or not. This is the book. I'm giving you reference. What kind of God? He sent a dish of shish kebab to his prophet so he can have a power of 40 men or 30 men. Well, shish kebab, you can go to Turkish, man, take a show. That's why we Here we go. You are making fun of Allah now. You are making fun. That's a good sign. You're still making fun of Muhammad and his prophet and his God. You are, you are, you are right. What kind of, you know, you, let's go to a Turkish guy to get shish kebab. What kind of God? For example, for example, for me, the word God, for example, is not Allah. For me, the word Listen, God is not Allah. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I don't care about what the word God for you. You see, you are a person who switch topic in a second. Hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. I will hate that you. Do you Stop, don't change you, topic. Do you something don't big. change topic. Do you, you, you are a coward. Don't, don't change topic. What's wrong with you? He don't want to talk about it. I don't care what you call God. I want an answer. The favorite color for Muhammad is black. Muhammad, he forbid the followers from coloring their hair black. Why? Show me where it says that the favorite color of Muhammad is black. A talking machine he will not answer anything because he is ashamed of his prophet why the black dog is the devil he will not answer I want you to tell me I want to learn from you what's wrong with the black dog why Allah he hate black dogs why he hate black animals Muhammad he said clearly for it is the devil now call me back and don't tell me Muhammad's favorite color is the black. Show me the proof, but first of all, answer. Why the most color Allah he hate is a black? Why the black the, the 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 most person Allah he hate in this earth is a black person? We have the right to know. Are you going to answer or you want to give me a speech? Let me call you. Sorry, bro. I think this guy's got some mental issues. <laughs> no problem. Let him, it's okay. It's okay. I, I want you to I, but just ask him why he don't want to answer. Okay. I want you just to explain why the black dog is a devil. Forget about the name of the so, God he worship. Doesn't matter. Why? I want you to explain to me why Muhammad he think that the black dog is a devil. I want to learn from you. Okay, please learn from me and okay. relax and, and listen to me first okay. of all. Okay, mm. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, explain some some of colors. Okay, mm. you see the color of, of, of black is a spiritual color, it's not about devil, it's a symbol. In a dream, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Anybody when they dream in their dream, they see something symbolized like your mother wearing clothes, black clothes, and something like that. Anything to do with the black is a knowledge and wisdom, is actually. But when you see in the evening time when a dog is barking, a black dog is barking, when he's saying, hoo, 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 uh, but but uh, it has to be a black dog because a black dog has a super, super spiritual uh, 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 energy that can see devil and, and, and a supernatural being. When he sees his backs, when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "When you see a black dog barking in the evening, mm -hmm. remember that he saw he saw a devil passing by." Say, "A'udhu billahi min al shaitan al rajim." I seek refuge in the devil that Allah has created. He has that he created. He, he created because Allah has created good things and bad things, and He made a man to choose which one He wants to go for it. So whoever chooses good, he ends up to become good. Say, so for example, if you become human being, nice, kind 
and every uh, and merciful into this world. Okay, can this I world belong is can like I a answer? house of can God, and we are all guests. Can I answer? Can I answer? Can I answer? Can I answer? The hadith you gave me is a lie. It's not about a black dog. It's about a donkey. Stop lying. Your prophet, he says, what? when a donkey. Even, hold on, don't lie. Okay. When your prophet, okay. he said, hold on. Okay. Your prophet, okay. he said, okay. when a donkey, he screamed, he saw an angel, yeah. and when a rooster, yeah. he screamed, he saw. And uh, sorry, when, when the donkey he screamed, he saw a shaitan. When a rooster he screamed, he saw an angel. So don't make it about a black donkey, a, 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 a dog. Do, stop lying. Now I am showing you. Stop dog. lying. You, you, stop you, lying. You, you just know one hadith. No, 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 no. You show me the other hadith. No, you show me. No, 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 brother. I'm showing me the other hadith. Planet, all right? This is not, just, the, this is not the question. He said here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I he know. said, they said to him, it is not a dog barking, you are a liar. And the dog, you are a liar. You don't know. Show me where it says that. I'm a liar. Okay, show me, show me. Discovery, my brother. Realize knowledge is vast. Like you are a stupid and you have nothing to say. <clears throat> show me. Don't tell me. Show me. I show you the hadith. Where it says, if you see a black dog is barking. And so what if a black dog is barking, you idiot? All dogs, they bark. Any dog, he sees someone is a stranger, he bark. So you just admitted that your prophet he have a phobia from the black color. If he see, according to you, if he see a black dog is barking, for sure he is a devil. And by the way, it doesn't say that here. As you see, Muhammad he claimed that the three things will interrupt and disturb Muslim prayer, which means they are not accepted by Allah. If a woman pass by, if a donkey and a black dog, they ask him, What about a black dog? He is not barking. He just passed by same as a woman you're a prophet he made women equal to dogs and donkeys and even even Aisha she said you made us equal to dogs and donkeys but Aisha she can't complain much because the one who did that is her husband so stop lying and avoiding the answer now if we call him back do you think he's going to answer or he will give us a speech <laughs> Let us call him back. That's for fun. <laughs> Hello? Yes. So, are you going to answer us, my friend? It says here that they ask him what the difference between a black dog and a yellow dog. He said the black dog is a devil, none of them is barking. And if a dog is bark, this is what he do. All dogs bark. So why you think the black dog is a devil? The mic is yours. First of all, let me tell you the fact that there's no such a black dog is a devil. First, what do we know anything to do with the black color? Black color is a supernatural color. For example, when we die, we go to the supernatural world. It's a death. It's a black, black. So are you saying example, your prophet is a liar? Sleep, we dream. We are, you saying, black, black. are you saying your prophet is a liar? Hold on, we, hold, we, on we, hold on, we, hold on, we, hold on, we, hold on. Are you saying your prophet is a liar? Are you saying your prophet is a liar? Hold on, shut up. Hey, listen, your prophet said the black dog is a devil, and you are saying there's no such a thing. Are you saying your prophet is a big fat liar? The hadith, how many hadith are good and bad? How many hadith? This is Sahih hadith, this is Sahih Muslim, this is Sahih Bukhari, you don't, you don't call me again. Don't ever call me again. I'm done with you. Suddenly now, this hadith is not Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim, this is Sahih Bukhari, you donkey. This is Sahih. And this is a Turmudi, and it says here, Sahih. Coward. Anything they don't like, they say it is not Sahih. <laughs> he did not say it's spiritual. He said the black dog is Shaitan. He's not saying he's like Shaitan, he's saying he is Shaitan. And as you see, they ask him, what is the difference between a black dog and red dog or white one? Muhammad, you don't have a problem with the white dog. You don't have a problem with the red dog. What is different? What is the problem with the black dog? Rather than the red or white one, he said, oh, my nephew, I ask Allah messenger just as you have asked me. He said, the black dog is the devil. 
Now you keep lying saying that this is not Sahih. We got you busted. It is Sahih. It is in Sahih Muslim. It is in Al-Bukhari. It is in Al-Turmudi. It's all over. But because they are ashamed of their stupid cult, a person who is teaching them stupidity, the only way to escape it is to say it is not Sahih. Anything we say to them, it's embarrassing. In a second, in the speed of light, it is not correct. Sahih, for those who don't speak Arabic, mean correct. And by the way, even the one they call him Da'if, which means weak, it is correct too, according to Islam. You can watch the video of Sheikh Hamza, who explained that Da'if is accepted, did not funk. <laughs> and he said, and I'm quoting him, the one who used the, the, the argument of weak, weak hadith, it's a weak argument. Do you see the stupidity and the shame of this cult? And they try their best to speak over you so they can mute you. We cannot, you know, we cannot overcome by saying something truthful, but we can overcome by shouting. In the old days, they overcome you by the sword, by the threat. And we heard him saying that, yes, those Arab, they could not beat Muhammad. So Muhammad, he did beat them. And he made them convert to Islam. And Islam, you do not need to be a believer right away. It's a step by step. First you say Shahada. First you say Shahada. And then slowly, 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 you became a Muslim. <laughs> the stupidity of this cult is beyond imagination. And here you notice the bankruptcy of Muslims when they try to find a support for their prophet to be a prophet. How we can make Muhammad a prophet? Let us try to find his name in the Bible. But they make fun of our Bible 24 hours, 7 days a week. They say it's corrupt. Suddenly Muhammad is a spirit. And suddenly Muhammad will glorify Jesus. And suddenly Muhammad is going to stay with us forever. Muhammad is dead in the grave. Even the hadith says that Muhammad, when he died, the Muslim did not bury him for three days and he started farting. The gas is all over. Ibn Abbas, he said, sahibakum, faqad antan, Bury your friend. He became stinky as all humans stink. Three days, they did not bury him. Why? They are waiting for him to come from the grave as Jesus did. But let me tell you why Muhammad was not buried right away. Muhammad got busted when he died because he claimed before that prophets' bodies will never be consumed or decay. Do you see it? So the Muslim believed him. He's telling the truth. Prophets, their body will not be consumed. So they did not bury him three days in the heat of Saudi Arabia. And then his belly became big, which is very normal for any human being. If you leave him for three days, especially in a hot place, the bacteria inside your stomach will, will, will digest the food and will generate a lot of gas. And then the belly of the human being will be full of gas. And because now he is not alive, he cannot fart normally. So what happened? The gas will start coming when the belly cannot take it no more. The ones who call me, first you have to tell me you are a Muslim. Otherwise, why you are calling me? If you are not a Muslim and you keep calling me, I will block you.
And here you notice, by the way, Muhammad, he claimed to be God. He is in the grave, yet the prayer of the Muslims will be submitted to him. Not to Allah. He ordered them to pray on him. Here they, they fabricate a translation that says the blessing will be submitted to me. This doesn't say it's a blessing. It says Salah. So he said that the Salah is going to be sent to me. Where? In the grave. How you are dead and will be sent to you. Who are you? Are you God? The prayer of a human being should go to God, not to Muhammad. No, in the case of Islam, Muhammad is the God. Your prayer will be sent to me. Now, who is the brave Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to call us. Who is next? And now we did not talk about the title, which about Allah knows best. Which I find it very hilarious that Allah know nothing as I know. And what he know is stupid. When Muhammad he says that the black dog is a devil, this is from the knowledge of Allah. When Muhammad he says this, look at this. I mean, look at this hilarious, stupid stories. Allah knows best. The Prophet said, when you hear the crowing of the cocks, ask for Allah blessing. For their crowing indicate that they have seen an angel. <laughs> Man, when I was in Asia, looked like angels all over in the Buddha country. Angels are not in Arabia. Angels are in 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 a, in a like I mean, unbelievable. If you hear the crowing of a rooster, that because he saw an angel. Allah is no all-knowing. And if you hear, if you've seen the donkey brain, that means he saw a shaitan. But hold on. I mean, this story is a disaster. Guys, do you remember the story of Muhammad when he saw the, the, the angel first time? He told his wife, I see someone, I'm not sure if he's an angel or not, in the corner of his room. And his wife Khadija, she asked him to sit in the top of her leg in the right one, then in the left one, and then she asked him to sit in the top of her. And each time he moved, she asked him, Do you see him? He said, Yes, he's still there. Then she took off her clothes to have sex with him, and then he, she asked him, Do you see him? He said, No, she said, Glory to Allah, this is an angel. So Muhammad himself is not a qualified to, to recognize who is an angel who is shaitan, but Mr. Rooster can do that. A rooster, he do not need his wife, Mrs. Chicken, to help him to recognize if this is an angel or not. A donkey, he do not need his wife, Mrs. Donkey, to recognize if this is shaitan or not. But Muhammad, who is a prophet, yet he cannot recognize shaitan from an angel. Which means a donkey is more qualified than Muhammad to be a prophet in Islam and a rooster is more qualified than Muhammad to be a prophet in Islam. For both of them, they can recognize shaitan from angel, but Muhammad cannot. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, an angel. Hey, angel, are you there? I am going to buy four donkeys and I will put a donkey in the corner of every corner of my house. So in case a shaitan, he get a close, I get alarmed. Allah knows best, don't he? The second you ask them a serious question, but they say not, they talk too much, but they say nothing. Oh, brother, the Lord Allah, brother, is the same God worshipped by Musa, brother, is the same God worshipped by Jesus, brother, is the same blah, 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 blah. What same God? Don't you see in the front of you, you idiot? And if we have the same God, why our God don't promise us an endless penis like your God? And what I will do with endless penis? Is that a reward or a penalty? You see, it might be accepted to have endless tail because the tail will be dropped in, in your back. But a, a, a penis endless in the front of you, how you can walk? 
Are you going to walk backward? Are you put like are you going to carry it in the top like a trailer? You are here, but your penis is in, in the Amazon jungles, and all those sharp teeth fish are having their bites. We have the same God, brother, the God of Jesus, brother. He is the one who created Jesus, brother. The one who created Jesus, brother, he promised you 70 years orgasm. So I go to visit Zach and Nick. I knock at the door. You couldn't believe that I'm having an orgasm. And then I come next year. I'm having an orgasm. The year after. 70 years orgasm. And your God is the same as our God. Your God is a perverted porn star God. He stuck with the number 70. My people will be 70 sect. 72 wives. 70 years orgasm. I mean, get out of it. What about 40? <laughs> you notice... <coughs> How they try to flood you with words, but in fact, they are empty. They can answer nothing. They have nothing to say. Allah knows best. And how Allah knows best? Simply because he told us that if you hear a rooster, that indicate that he saw an angel. I'm really convinced by the way and Muhammad who learned this from Allah he cannot be lying when Muhammad he says that Allah he liked those who sneeze well he is no as he's talking about it this is his God he liked those who sneeze and what's wrong with you it's a fact all gods in the world they like sneezing <laughs> Yes, Abdul. Hello. Hello. Yes. Salam alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum salam. I'm so, I'm sorry about that guy. He wasn't being too cooperative. Cooperative. It's not about courting. This guy, he have, a, he have a, like a, he, he talked too much. He say nothing. I know you had him under pressure. He was going. He was going. He was turning red. Yeah. Well, I don't want him to be exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him going that thing like going that ready my whole life. Yeah. He's always like always giving knowledge, but when I see the way he's living his life, he's Muslim. He claimed to be Muslim. He got so much knowledge, but he just lives his life the way he wants. Yeah, it's too much pressure. I understand. But you see, like he have to learn as a man. I mean, at least when you speak to us, say something useful. We ask him about potato. Yeah. He start talking about tomato. He never answer yeah, anything. And, yeah. And sorry, he sorry, sorry. Go on. Yeah. It's all right, but anyway, Hello? at least at least you are you are, you you yourself you are out of Islam, and that will make you make, make them this additional thing make them yeah. more angry right now. Yeah. Because you are a family member, yeah. and you you left Islam because you are watching my videos. Yeah, yeah. So I, no, I left Islam. I left Islam a long like uh, six months ago, and then one time, basically, someone mentioned Christian mentioned your name, uh, and then sorry. when I went on the internet, uh, I started listening to it, and then everything was more just made more clear to me. So I just knew that I was in a. We lost you, my friend. Hello. Yeah, you have a weak internet. Yeah, this is why they are angry because this guy he is a family member, you know. Those are his uncles. This is his uncle, you know, and he left Islam, and they are so upset. You know how they can get this back back to, to, to this cult, you know? They're very, very upset. Anyway, his connection is lost. And soon he will make more people leave this cult too. I mean, how in the world? And you see, when anytime you show them something embarrassing, they say it's weak. But we can show you the same embarrassment from the Quran. He said to me. In Islam, we don't have slaves, and we don't have sex with the slaves. When I showed him that the, the, the Quran have tons of verses saying, 
He claimed we married him. It, that's not true. It says it is lawful for you, your wives, and the one is owned by your hand. If they are wives, there is no need to say they are owned by your hand. And we can show tons of reference of Muhammad raping women who they are slaves. As an example, Juria or Safiya or etc. And even Muhammad, he accept gifts, gifts as a human being. Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? Don't forget, please, to give our, our video a like. As you see, I have 11 Abdul give it dislike. Now, I wonder what about the rest of the thousand people and more watching? Why they are not giving a like to our video if you really like what we do? Do we need to ask you for it? When we ask a Muslim, why you kiss a black stone? He claimed that he is a person who don't he's not a pagan. Okay, if if going around a stone, praying in the direction of a stone, and kissing a stone is not paganism. So what is paganism? Once in a chat website, Islamic chat, it says I convert to Islam something. I chatted with them and I said to them, uh, I have a question. Why the prophet he kissed the black stone? The guy in the other side who tried me to try to help me to convert to Islam, he says because it's holy. And I said, okay, so why it's holy? He said because the prophet kissed it. <laughs> so why the prophet kissed the black stone? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because the prophet kissed it. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? A smart Muslim he will come with different idea. He will say to you, oh, because Allah, he sent the stone from heaven. Abdul, the stone is still a stone. It's coming from heaven. It's coming from warehouse. Who care? Why you are kissing it? <laughs> Why you are kissing it? <laughs> 